So I'm going to show you how to access the Dark Souls 1 DLC in the most easy and straightforward way to understand. The only prerequisites you need is that you've beaten Ornstein and Smo so that you can teleport and also you've beaten the Four Kings and have the Lord Vessel. So anyways, the first thing we need to do is actually head over to Dark Root Basin. This area of the game can be accessed in a couple of different ways. You can come down from New Londo Ruins and then open the gate that's right here or you can just come out of Blight Town and then head all the way down the Valley of the Drakes up to this little platform and then out the other side or you can go from the undead parish there's a lot of ways you can actually access this area whichever way is easiest for you you ultimately need to come down here to the lake and meet the hydra you will need to kill the hydra otherwise this is going to be basically impossible to do so once it's dead you're going to get a dragon scale and dust crown ring but we don't need to worry about that for now all you got to do is come over to the left side and hug this wall so that you don't fall off the cliff and you're going to go all the way to the back and notice that there is just this empty cave and there's going to be nothing here However, once you get to this point, save and quit the game and then reload your save back in. Now, if you've already killed the Hydra in a different save or at a different time and maybe revisited the game, you may not need to do this step. As long as this golden, like, crystal golem is here, then you're good to go. He's not too hard to kill, but once you take him out, it's going to drop an NPC out of it, so make sure there's no residual damage, you just don't want to hurt this thing. Uh, go ahead and talk to it, it's going to give you a dialogue string, and just make sure you say yes and agree to what she's saying. Once you've done that, head over to An Orlando, and then we're actually going to go to the Duke's Archives. Once you're at this bonfire in An Orlando, we're going to come up the stairs, and then go over to the left side, and go all the way through this hallway, up the hill, past these guards, and then going to go into the door that was previously blocked off by the light wall. Inside here, you're going to find a couple of iron boars. I do recommend killing these uh, just because if you're going to be traveling back and forth between here a lot, it'll be very convenient. But either way, you need to make it through these two boars and then into the Duke's archives room and then light this bonfire. Pull the lever and then go up this platform. Once you get to the next level, you need to kill this very specific crystal golem over here on the right side. Now, this area can be a little tricky just because these little lads are running around and they're hella annoying. So you don't necessarily have to deal with these. Just make sure you kill this crystal golem. And then once you do, he's going to drop the broken pendant item once you've obtained that simply head back over to the basin where we fought the hydra go back into that cave where we killed the golden crystal golem and then you're going to notice the abyss is standing right there and once you interact with it you will be teleported into the dlc thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one